Okay, another optimization problem. This time we want to maximize the largest possible volume. So a supermarket employee wants to construct an open top box. Okay, so a rectangle. So the volume of a rectangle is length times width times height. And we're going to want to maximize that. So that will be the derivative of a V, right? So the diagram, we know that the, the flat piece of cardboard is a width of 16 inches and a length of 30 inches. To do this, the, but they want to create out of this flat piece of cardboard, they want to create a box. So the employee plans to cut squares of equal size. Whoops. So in each corner, because remember, if you perforate and you cut on the perforations, and you get rid of that, you can then fold in those sides and you have a really shallow box of this height, right? So this is the height value of that box. Because when you fold this up, actually this is the perforated area. And you cut out those squares and you fold along those perforations, you're going to have this shallow box where X will be the height. All right. So the length of the new box, of the box that's created, well, this is the length of x and this is the length of x, but we're cutting that out. So this new length, the red length right here, is 30 subtract 2x, and this new width is 16 subtract 2x. So look at the dimensions you now have. You have the length, which is 30 subtract 2x, times the width, which is 16 subtract 2x, times the height. Well, the height, when you fold this up, that height right there is x. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So what we know is we have a 16 by 30 cardboard to make, um, to make a box, okay? And we've already seen the diagram. And then we have volume. So, and since, since it, it's all X, we don't have to worry about getting a Y by itself because this is already completely in terms of X. So here's our length, here's our width, here's our height. We multiply all of that out and we get this. Now we're gonna take the derivative of this function and then you're gonna factor out what they have in common. I think they have a four in common. Yeah, they have a four in common, leaving that. And if you're not great at factoring, just use the quadratic formula to solve for the X. Uh, but if you are decent at factoring, that's great. So when you factor, the four remains on the outside and this factors to three X subtract 10, X subtract 12. And look at, you're gonna get two answers. You're gonna get X is equal to 10 thirds, which is, three and a third inch, and X is equal to 12 inches. Well, if we put 12 inches here and 12 inches here, well, if this is 12 and this is 12, that's 24 inches, but this entire length is only 16 inches. So this answer will not work. So the height is going to be three and a third inches. So our final dimensions will be Oh, the square size, that's, see, we need to maximize the volume, but what, the question is asking, what size should the squares be? Well, the squares would be, uh, each side would be uh, 10 thirds inches or three and a thirds inches. There you go. That's it for this one.